Welcome back. We are in Jackson, Montana. Wow, they got a little cafe, a little hotel. Not a whole lot, but it looks pretty neat. Definitely isolated. They got an elementary school. So Wisdom is at 18 miles. We might end this video there. Jackson to Wisdom sounds good. Oh, there's their cell tower right there. So when I got the flat, I'm pretty sure I ran over something um, now. 99% sure. I heard a noise, you know, like when you hit something and it hits your wheel well or something. Um, so whatever it was, I, I either ran over and then it stuck in the tire. Or it didn't stay in the tire though. It, you know, made the, made the hole. And it rattled around the wheel well, you know, once. Because the noise is gone, like I said, and so I, I'm pretty confident now it wasn't anything falling off of the truck from driving on all the washboard roads. Because that's what I thought maybe happened. Like, huh, what if one of my bolts came loose? And, you know, that's what happened, but that did not happen. Wow, the smoke got thick. Jeez. So crazy how it does that. Like above me, I see some blue sky and a cloud, and ahead, nothing but smoke. And the wind is no more, it's calm again. I can almost drive across Texas in this truck without um, getting fuel. I could drive from like El Paso to Houston practically. Or at least somewhere between El Paso and somewhere between um, San Antonio and Houston from El Paso, which is amazing.
basically when you're on flat roads going consistent speed not stopping you pretty much have a 650 675 mile range going 60 at least you know 65 it's kind of lowered a little shave it's starting to bother me It'll be the first thing I do when I get home I'm hoping my charging cord is there couldn't find it in the bag and don't know if I actually brought it which I can't believe I forgot it if I did so this trip is going to be one week if I get home today exactly and in that one week I spent $60 and for camping that's it it's pretty awesome hardly bought any food either so that's good I think I got some pretty good um, shower slippers camp uh, shoes they're in the back of the truck drying as I drive the truck bed. They're a lot better than wearing the um, sandals that you put your toe through. washer fluid yet um, they filled it when I changed the oil but um, like I've used a lot driving in the last week I thought I've been trying to um, use less but I definitely use it a lot I do little squirts instead of long ones now and this yeah this area is not as mountainous as I thought. more Chevys out west I think I wonder if Chevy's at the rural truck and Ford's more of the city truck never thought of that before but uh, I think of Chevy as definitely a better truck for ranchers and farmers um, just me for some reason and the fact that um, Ford's making the electric lightning truck like people out here are not going to buy a lightning at least I don't think so. Could be wrong. I think it's more of a city thing. I'm glad I have a Chevy, but if I end up if we end up getting a lightning someday, that would be cool. I'd be happy. Oh there's a Ford right there. I might be wrong. <laughs> I probably am wrong because I just remembered the F-150 is the best selling truck in forever um, just seem to see more Chevys lately yeah I'm on 
Montana is basically a big, um, big ranch, the, the state. driven um, almost 2,000 miles. This is going to be like a 2,500 mile trip. I want to say in the RV what we did um, 1,500 miles last fall maybe. definitely keeps me busy it gives me something to do at home making these videos and it's fun I, I do enjoy it I, I'm like hoarding videos is how the feeling I get collecting videos and I have all these videos that I can watch anytime I want if I get road sickness you know and feel the need to be on the road I'll just pop a video up down to 77 though because of it. it basically this lowers the temperature by 10 degrees almost it'd be 85 at least if we had sun well i'm starting to think i might get home tonight even I can get out in the field, get some brushing done tomorrow then, before we go biking on Saturday. If I drove the speed limit, I would be home at a decent time, but because I'm going slower, it might be 11, it could be 11, 12 o'clock at night, which is fine. I don't want to get in rush hour traffic anyway.
what's going on up here. 35 miles an hour though. Hmm. Wow, that's a bunch of RVs in the field. And can't, oh, there's a runway here. I wonder if they're skydiving. Tent set up. Oh, it's firefighter. Firefighters. Wow, this is our base camp. So there's a fire nearby. Wow. Sleeping in tents. Jeez. It's like a nice camp. Fire camp. Oh, that is way cool. I've never seen a fire camp before. You got everything there. There's a helicopter. Two helicopters. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, that one's got its bucket lying on the ground. That is way cool. That, that was like a little city they built, basically. I hope they have some nice stuff for the firefighters. fire in person for a while um, decades ago I saw a few in California you can see that I saw the flames off in the distance they weren't very big fires um, I don't think So this is the Jackson to Wisdom video in Montana. Thank you for watching. In 600 feet.